Uh, Billy Michael, famous for the Donkey Kong lawsuit, has settled one of his lawsuits, and it did not end the way that anyone expected. Um, Billy Mitchell has been in a lawsuit against uh, the, I think, a nonprofit organization called Twin Galaxy, responsible for keeping um, video game world records. Um, they did not. Uh, what happened is that they invalidated his. Uh, this is like a super autistic story, and I apologize if anyone in here is like a really big fan of Carl Yobbs and the uh, the Twin Galaxies lawsuit. I'm gonna try to sum it up. For the sake of posterity, uh, for anyone listening who does not know anything about this, Billy Mitchell was a Donkey Kong player. He may still play it, but he definitely was back in the day. He's a very, he's a ridiculous looking man. This guy right here, he has like the most, hello, I don't want to like play the video, but I just want to show you what he fucking looks like. Um. He calls himself the gamer of the century. He has received like an award for, directly from Nintendo for playing the old, old Donkey Kong on an arcade cabinet. And he got like a high score or something. And there was a movie called King of Kong. And it is a excellent, excellent documentary that re really boils your fucking blood watching it. Because there's this guy that is legitimately a great Donkey Kong player. And he goes through a lot of shit to get like his personal best record in front of like a live audience sitting there playing Donkey Kong in a in a fucking stool for eight hours in front of a cabinet. You can't pause it. You can't go pee pee. Once you start, you can't stop. And he got like a personal best world record in front of a live audience in that that condition. Billy Mitchell took his uh, his trophy as uh, his world record by sending in a VHS tape where nothing can be seen except the screen, uh, filmed by like a shitty VHS camcorder. And for whatever reason, they accept the score. They, uh, they, they tell the guy who actually busted his ass to get this, this trophy that he can go fuck himself. And Billy Mitchell is now the gamer of the century. And it was like this, um, it was like this huge slap in the face, and it's a, genuinely, when you watch the King of Kong documentary, it's like genuinely enraging that they did this to him. Well, years and years later, a engineer comes out. I think there's a screenshot I can show you in this video if I sp scan through it. This. Um, it's a comparison of how MAME, the, uh, the uh, what is it called? The um, MAME is, is an emulator for arcade games, or specifically for Donkey Kong, I can't remember. And then this is like an actual recording directly off the uh, arcade machine. And you can see that if you compare it, it is clearly an emulated screen that he sent in. So he played this, this game on a emulator, which is against the rules. There is in like irrefutable evidence that he played on an emulator, which means that he also probably could have used save states. He could have used all sorts of tools to beat the game unfairly. And that it was a, it was an illegitimate score. So Twin Galaxies took him off the, the high score table and validated his record years later. And because Billy Mitchell is somehow independently wealthy and has like um, is an extreme uh, vexatious litigant, he immediately sued Twin Galaxies for defamation for saying that he uh, did not uh, beat the world record. And this has been going on for five fucking years. This lawsuit against this uh, high score table over the Donkey Kong score has been going on for like half a decade at this point. And he lied under oath. He fabricated evidence. The evidence that he fabricated when they subpoenaed to, to get it so they could evaluate it disappeared. So he destroyed evidence that he fabricated, which is also a different kind of crime. He perjured himself under oath. There was a huge scandal about... Um, uh, about a, a the controller because in the arcade the game the he plays um he plays the game on an arcade machine in one of the the video recordings and the the game that he's playing on has a red controller but all the original Donkey Kong arcade cabinets have a black controller and he flatly says in this deposition I would not play Donkey Kong on a cat arcade cabinet that had a a red controller because it would be illegitimate and then they show him playing the game. Uh, or they show the ar arcade cabinet has a red controller and he has to suddenly backtrack. So he's like, he purges himself. He does all this shit. He like digs a fucking hole. And at the end of it, 
the the attorney for twin galaxies starts harassing witnesses and saying like stop lying to me stop lying like he's so frustrated that billy mitchell is just lying constantly and the court isn't like putting him in jail for perjury that the the, the lawyer has like a mental breakdown and starts harassing witnesses and the the um he, the judge says that she might censor or uh, censure him and submit him to the bar. And he like the, the even though Billy Mitchell is the retard, the attorney for the Twin Galaxies ends up fucking groveling, saying, "I have debased myself before the court. I have allowed personal emotions to cloud my judgment. I was upset and frustrated by what appeared to me to be a purposeful fabrication and hiding of evidence." The facts support the defense, and now the plaintiff realizes this, the, the lawyer wrote. He also realizes that he has dug himself into a hole by lying in discovery, uh, referring to Billy Mitchell. I do not say this lightly, lately. The outlook is bleak for plaintiff, and so now I am the target now. Plaintiff is chomping at the bit to see me refer to the state bar and relent. Well, he did relent. Um, Billy Mitchell and Twin Galaxies came to an agreement. After five years and tens of thousands of dollars, probably hundreds of thousands of dollars, they settled out of court. What Billy Mitchell gets his compensation is that on the Twin Galaxies website, there's now an archive version of the high score table, which is just like a, a page that says this was the score 10 years ago. And it still shows Billy Mitchell is holding the record, even though um, there's lots of other known cheaters that are on the uh, high score table. So it's like it's like an archive of the original table without any of the cheaters that they've found out about being removed. And that's his that's his consolation prize for five years of litigation. The other part is that he's still suing Carl Yobes, which if you don't remember, there was a video that I put out years ago. This was like two or three years ago, I think 2019. And I um I I still had a Discord back then for the Math the Internet uh fan zone and overpaid, who was like a Filipino who loved China. Uh, sent me a video of a speed of of a speed runner getting 52 seconds on GoldenEye in some fucking nap. I think it was called the dam or the bridge, and it made me laugh out loud because um, the guy playing gets 52 seconds. It apparently took him 100,000 tries to get 52 seconds on GoldenEye on dam, and he's so overwhelmed with emotion when he gets 52 seconds that he stands up walks into the other room tells his wife what he's accomplished and then goes back and starts going oh my god oh my god oh my god like crying in front of the camera and then after a couple of minutes his wife comes out and she's asian she's like chinese and is, is i i make a remark about how she's as flat as an ironing board and then he, she, she like walks in and starts like petting him like a dog uh, as he cries into into her flat chest and that is Carl Yopes, the guy being sued by Billy Mitchell. And when I made this commentary about how fucking pathetic I saw that I thought this video was, he hid this video from the public. Um, he hid the crowning achievement of a speedrunning career, made a community post about how I was an awful cunt and people need to report my YouTube channel because I'm such a, a bad boy. And then he used the YouTube studio editor to remove the wife entering the room so that I could not make fun of this or so that other people would not make fun of this and then made it public again. Um, and apparently when I did this, a lot of people knew Carl Yopes and, and liked him because he was like a anti vexatious litigant kind of guy. Um, so that was a bridge I completely, totally fucking destroyed right out the gate. Uh, cause I saw this video and it made me think, God, that's really sad. Actually, <laughs> it was, it, dude, this is the weird thing about like my streams. I don't have the ability to upset anybody that I would really, I would love it if I could just like compel people to do whatever the fuck I wanted by making fun of them. But for some reason, when I make like an offhand remark about one guy I don't even know about, it's always like a critical blow. It's like, um, coming out of the, it's like getting a, um, a stealth crit in like the fallout games. Like they don't even know I'm there ready to make fun of them. And then I just come out of it with a, with a headshot from the, the corner of the room. They're like, what the fuck? Meanwhile, the people that actually want to, want to, uh, actually make upset with what I say, they always know to hide it. <laughs> they don't respond. Such is life. Uh, an elephant in a fragile ego shop. That's very poetic. I like that. Um, so in case you're wondering, the lawsuit against Carl, uh, is still ongoing. I think it's in Australia too. I think he's Australian. 
Um, so he's had to fundraise like hundreds of thousands of Australian dollars for their bullshit legal system. Um, and he still is probably going to win that one. Oh, you could. Yeah, you can. I, uh, I, when I realized that X had a chat, I, I developed, I took my plugin and I built it out for, um, for X too. I need to finish it. I, I had to put that on pause because I had to fix more shit. I can't wait till I have a, a Git repository and I can invite people to work on my stuff for me. Because right now I have to use GitHub and I have to make it like invite only because otherwise my repositories get reported for shit. Um, okay, cool, excellent, wonderful. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!